Hey guys, so for today's video, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna be honest, but I know one thing. I made myself a cocktail for this one. I have been really wanting to get this. Oh, I can't even look at it without getting excited. Like I look at it, if you find it, I'm like, oh, it's just, it's everything I dreamed of. Um, can we please just take a moment for the fact that I have an actual champagne bottle covered in glitter? This is champagne pop it. Like this is actual champagne goals. I will never open this ever. And if someone ever came into my home, on my turf and open this bottle, they would get shanked. So yeah, I just wanted to get here on camera and talk to you guys. Um, I had so many people tell me recently, you know, like friends and some family members tell me like, just get on camera, do a makeup tutorial, just get back to life, it's fine. You don't owe anyone an explanation. You don't need to explain to anybody what happened. Sorry, my traffic's fix my hair. This is, it's very hard to get used to these extensions, I swear. I feel like the majority of people in my life, they don't really get the connection that I have with you guys and how I feel towards you. My mom gets it. My mom absolutely gets it. She's been with me since the beginning. My mom is my ride or die homie. Um, but other than that, not a lot of people in my life really understand, other than my mom and John, what YouTube is to me and what you guys are to me. I love you so much and I'm so thankful for you and you have absolutely no idea how grateful and appreciative John and I are for all of the well wishes and the prayers and the positive comments and vibes and just the wonderful things you guys have said on social media, just the outpour of love. I never in a million years expected that and I'm so ridiculously freaking thankful for you guys, which is why I'm here on camera talking to you because I just kind of want to talk to you about what's been going on in our lives. So it's been crazy. Um, I'm kind of like prolonging what I want to talk about. I'm kind of just like dancing around the subject. Let me take another sip because I, I really don't want to have to go into detail. I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail, but I am going to talk to you guys about what's been going on because I know there's so many of you out there that are wondering what the hell is going on in me and John's lives. And I know a lot of you know what happened. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the chase. Three weeks ago from today, it was a Sunday morning and my husband John had a seizure. We were laying in bed and we had plans that day for my family and my nieces like to come over and go swimming at our pool. And so we were just kind of like laying there talking about that, just kind of shooting the breeze, like what you do on a Sunday morning as husband and wife, right? So I was kind of laying in bed talking. He had been awake for maybe five to 10 minutes. And all of a sudden he started making a very strange noise and I thought that he was cold. We set the air very cold at night. We like to sleep in the freezing cold because we like to bundle up and cuddle up in the covers and sleep like buried in our blankets. I know a lot of people relate to that, but we make it cold. So like recently, like we keep getting lower and lower and lower. We got married, we set it at like 71, then it was like 70, then it was 69 and John was like, oh, and I was like, enough. And then we put it at 68 and now we're at like 65. It's ridiculous, but it's like a glue status in our house. But in the morning I wake up and I love because I, I I'm a hot sleeper. I wake up and I'm like, it feels so good. And John always wakes up freezing. So he started making this noise where he was like, Ugh, like making like a, like a shivering noise. And I thought that he was just complaining that he was cold. And I was like, are you cold? And all of a sudden I was like, what are you doing? And he was just seizing. He was just full on. Oh my God. Uh, he was just, he was convulsing. He was having a full on seizure. And I had absolutely no idea what was going on. I was in no way prepared, obviously, for that moment. I've never seen a seizure in my life. I've been fortunate enough to never witness that, like anywhere from someone I know or a stranger, I've never seen a seizure. I called 911 immediately. And I'm on the phone screaming. I don't even remember what I said. I, I literally just like gave them my address and I threw the phone across the room because I was just like panicked. And they called me back like immediately. Obviously, like they had my number, like from my call them, I hung up on them. I was so panicked. And they call me back and they're like, you know, I'm um, high. This is, you know, 911. Take a deep breath. I need you to put your hand on his chest. I need you to tell me every time he breathes in. So I started like telling him like, he's breathing in now. He's breathing in now. They were like, all right, his breathing is stabilized. The paramedics are going to be there within four minutes. I was like, thank God. And so the paramedics showed up. He had stopped when John came to, because I didn't know this, but you know, the past three weeks I've learned a lot about seizures. And when you, when you have a seizure, you black out. So he was just gone. Like he had no idea what happened. And like all of a sudden he like came to, and he was just like, whoa, what happened? My breathing was just really weird, right? And I was like, what? I've never felt my heart do this in my life. My heart was probably at 200 beats per minute. Like I was just flipping out and I was like, what? And he's like, did I fall asleep? And like, I wish that I could have kept calm for him, but that like, nope, that was not gonna happen in that moment. And the, the thing that was worse, like the worst part about all of it for me was the look in his eyes because as he was seizing, 
his eyes were open and like they say that some people's eyes are shut some people's eyes are open his eyes were completely open and just staring at the ceiling and he just had so much fear in his eyes and like it didn't look like my husband it just looked like something had taken over his body and it wasn't him and John is not a fearful person at all like I have fears like oh I'm afraid to fly I'm afraid to get too deep into the ocean he doesn't have fears really and so just to see that look in his eyes of just fear made me feel so much sadness for him and it was just that's the thing that's like the most traumatic for me is the look in his eyes I had to see like that's been the hardest thing for me to overcome because I just felt so sad for him and like oh I just I really thought that he was gonna die and I know to people out there who like your loved ones have seizures you have seizures you were probably thinking like girl you're fine like it happens but for the person watching their loved one have a seizure for the first time it is absolutely traumatizing and I don't think anyone can discredit that it was just it was horrifying he had a cat scan while he was there in the hospital and the doctor came in and said the cat scan was spotless I broke down I cried like a baby John was so relieved. I kept telling John, like, no matter what happens, like, we're going to get through this. It does not matter what they find and anything. Like, life is going to go on and we're going to get through this. Like, I was trying so hard to be strong, but deep inside I was just like, oh, scared little girl who just wanted her mommy. Um, at this point, he had, he went to a specialist. He had an MRI, an EEG, and a QEEG, a couple of different things, several different things. And everything has come back totally normal, totally spotless. <sighs> So thankful, like you have no idea, so thankful. People have seizures all the time apparently that they have no reason for them. Like the doctors have absolutely no idea. They're like, oh, it could be the caffeine, it could be dehydration, it could be this, it could be that. We have no idea. So at this point, it's kind of just a waiting game. There's people out there who have had a seizure and then they have they don't have another one for a year and then they have another one a year later and they have another one a year after that and there's absolutely no reason why. There's always a possibility that could happen again and it could change our lives and rock our worlds forever. If that does happen, it happens. Like we'll get through it. But this whole thing has completely and totally put things into perspective for the both of us. After that happened, we just decided to take a step back from social media and just really embrace each other and our loved ones because, you know, it was... It was a wake up call to say the absolute least. Like I remember I was in the hospital and we had been there at this point for like eight or nine hours and I got on my phone and I was like, at this point, John wasn't even in the room. They were doing testings on him and I was talking to my mom, my sister and so on and so forth. And it was taking them a while. And I like opened up my phone and I opened up my Instagram and the first thing I saw was some shitty comment from someone. Just about, just something random and stupid. I don't even remember. Just something about me and probably being fake or money hungry or whatever it may be, just something. And when I saw it, I was like, I cannot believe that I have even allowed these types of comments to affect me in any way. I am so pathetic. Like I just in that moment felt like I cannot believe what a little bitch I have been. And ever since then I have had a completely different look at what people have to say about me who don't personally know me. When I say know me, like know me because I'm definitely someone who when you meet me the first time you're going to get like the outer shell. You know, I'm a cancer and we're the crab. So when you meet me, you're gonna get my hard outer shell, but inside I'm very soft crab meat. And you know, if, if you don't truly know me for who I am, if you don't know my heart and soul, then I really do not give a damn what you have to say about me. And that is something that I feel like I have gotten back. I just feel like I have to tell you guys as my subscribers that I am truly from the depths of my soul embarrassed and sorry for ever just letting the hate get me down change who i am change the way i may act at times like it is so embarrassing the girl who first decided to turn on the camera and start youtube videos in the first place is not the same girl that i have been the past couple of months maybe the past year or two i have allowed negative people to get into my soul and get into my mind and get into my heart and get into my life and change me in ways and that is only my fault that is not the negative people's fault i take full responsibility for that i just feel like i've lost myself at times on camera and on social media and i get so caught up in the things that people say about me and it hurts me so much because i'm so obsessed with people knowing that i'm not all these horrible things and i'm not a liar and i've never lied and I'm always like, if only they knew the truth. The past couple of weeks, my mindset has just completely flip-flopped and I haven't cared what negative people have to say. But at the same time, when I see people being nasty to me on social media, I have no problem standing up for myself because that's the thing is 
that's the Jacqueline that I've always been my whole life. If someone mouths off to me or my friends or my family, like I'm gonna stand up for myself. I have the right. I don't wanna be nasty, I'm not a nasty person, but like I can always defend myself. But at the same time, like I am so sorry and saddened and the fact that I've ever let these people get into my head because everything that has happened the past couple of weeks has just put all that into perspective. The fact that my husband is alive right now and my family is alive, my nieces, my nephews, they're all healthy. Like I am so blessed beyond reason. I am choosing happiness. I am saying yes to my happiness and to my freedom and to my mental freedom and I'm gonna be me. And if that means me doing 17 warm smoky eyes back to back to back, then that's what I'm gonna do because I don't actually care about views and pleasing the negative Nancys. I care about makeup and living life and having fun and enjoying my passion and being free and young and <laughs> spending time with my family and my friends and making you guys laugh and smile and making you feel a piece of just happiness and freedom. Like that's what I care about. And that's what I'm gonna get back to. Out with the old and with the new. And that's why I wanted to dye my hair and change my hair because I just felt like every day after John's seizure, like. I couldn't control what was going on. I couldn't control what was happening, but there was change, like our entire life, there was a change in us and in our world and in our, in our future, just everything had changed. And I was sick of looking myself in the mirror. I thought I looked just like so cheap. I was like, I'm done with this look. I texted my hairdresser and I was like, help a sister out. Can we go dark? Can we go long? Like, let's get it popping. So yes, this is not clip in extensions. I'm gonna move the conversation along. This is not clip-in extensions. These are actually tape-in extensions. So extend, you might not be able to see it because my hair's really dark. But they're like big fat extensions and they're taped right at the root of the hair. My natural hair is so oily right now, you guys. Okay, so this video is probably 45 minutes at this point, but I do just want to really quickly show you this because honestly, I was so excited. Oh my God, you probably expected this from me, honestly. But this is the Mariah Carey Matte Collection. I'm sorry, I have to, I, I have to pull up this song really quick. Just bear with me, all right? You don't understand. When I was like 13 years old, I was so obsessed with the song. I sang it at my recital. I used to take voice lessons. I sang this at my recital. Get ready. Mariah's about to bring it home. You don't even know. Oh, beast! That's like my favorite Mariah Carey song of all time. Now let's get real. My favorite current day Mariah song. And no, it's not because I think the world is obsessed with me. So this collection, now that they are all into like sending out PR stuff that they never, they never have been in the past, but like the past three or four months, all of a sudden Mac has just been like sending like everything and I'm like, oh okay. God. I'm like, wait a second. My gratis wasn't this good. Like this is freaking bomb. Did you give this to your employees though? Cause like, oh my God, this is amazing. It came in this beautiful package. When I opened it up, I was like, hi. There she is, just. There, there, there she is. There she is. Just, she's just, doo -doo. she's right there. And can we just take a moment to look at this presentation? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, when it came, it looked much prettier, but I immediately pulled everything out and started shoving it up my butthole because I was so excited. There's two eyeshadow palettes. Can we talk about the glitter around the edges of this eyeshadow palette? What? Yes, Matt, come through. But look at these gems. Like the whole box is full of these gems. Like I just wanna put my entire body in this. Like, can I get like a, a full size pool of these gems so I can just be like, you're delusional, you're delusional. This right here, I I like crap my pants, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna actually crap my pants, just so you know. Those of you who take things literal, I wasn't actually like crapping myself, but almost. This highlighter right here called my Mimi, my Mimi, in case you didn't catch that. And it's an extra dimension skin finish, which is my, which is my actual, God, I'm talking so fast which is my actual favorite formula in MAC highlights. It's so beautiful. And look at her face, just casual. Oh, okay, let me just throw my face on a highlighter. Now for my skin tone, I could not use this as a highlight because it definitely, like when it would reflect, it would look like muddy as you can see right there. But I can put this on the apples of my cheeks and it can give that beautiful golden glow. If you are more chocolatey in skin tone, girl, don't sleep on this. Beautiful blush, and this is called Sweet Sweet Fantasy. I'm sorry you guys, my hands, it's a its a spray tan gone bad. What's new, let's get real. But it's a really pretty kind of like rosy, petally pink, and it's a matte, which I 
love because I really like matte blushes more than anything. And then they gave us some of their good old little liquid liner as always. I feel like this comes in every collection. But it's cute because it's in like a gold packaging with her little signature on it. You guys, the lipstick. First of all, the colors, bah. But the packaging though, like what is this? Hi, how are you? Like what is this? Like pure glitter? This is the frosty one, which I'm not gonna lie, doesn't excite me that much. This is in the shade All I Want. But this one is in the shade McIzzle. Oh my God. All of her lipsticks have a butterfly engraved on them. So gorgeous, so Mariah. And then her signature is right there, so pretty. And then the last lipstick is this one right here, which is a really, really pale nude, which I, of course, am absolutely obsessed with. And this is in the shade Bit of Bubbly. So pretty. Like, this is the prettiest collection that MAC has ever done. They did a body powder with a little poof. It's got a little... Ah, stop! Amazing! It's called Touch My Body Loose Powder. This reminds me of the powders the Victoria's Secret used to sell. Do you remember those? With the huge poofs. Oh, my God, girl. I was obsessed every single day. I would literally just walk to the bathroom, like 11 years old, wash my face and grab that poof and be like literally like full body highlighter challenge and then for the lip glosses there are three gorgeous shades there's like a really really light pink vanilla shade and there's like a medium peachy pink shade and there's like a darker golden amber shade which i think is so awesome because it's going to fit three different skin tones from light medium and dark which is really smart so Mariah and her team they did a bomb job and they came out with lashes as well, which I just, I love the packaging, the fact that it has her signature. Let me just say though, I'm going to be honest, even though I love Mariah Carey, I love her music, I always have, I can't help it. Every time I think of Mariah Carey, I think of Eminem and the fact that she dissed him and I'm like, because at the end of the day, she might be queen, but Eminem is my mother king. I just want to share that with you because I think that's amazing and I never want to like brag like look at what I got in PR but like I remember what it was like being a matte girl for all those years and we did not get gratis like that. That is some bougie over the top shiznit that I am very thankful for. Um, but yeah, that's it. I also got this awesome Kylie package, which I was really excited about as well um, for the holidays right here. I thought this was really cool. Like this stocking, I mean, I'm not going to hang this up. Just being real. I'm not going to hang this up. I'm going to give it to someone who would actually really appreciate it. Um, but this whole thing, it has like diamonds in it or something. I don't know. Something very extra like that. But amazing. And I just honestly think that, whoa, I just think that Kylie Cosmetics in general has gotten so much more luxe recently. The formulas have gotten so good. I mean, I really genuinely love the eyeshadows. And the matte lips, I've been really liking them. Some of her darker colors um, can definitely be kind of patchy, I've noticed. They're not all consistent. But in general, like, she has stepped up. And I had faith in her from the beginning. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, and if you remember, when her line first launched, I told you I did not like her liquid lips. But I said, like, you know, and I still stand by it. Most people, when they launch a brand, they spend a couple thousand dollars, and they launch a brand, and they hope for the best. And their initial order is, you know, 500 units of each thing in their initial PO and Kylie Jenner probably ordered 500,000 of each color and it sold out in minutes and the whole world is breathing down her neck and it's like and she didn't even have time she didn't have room for improvement it's like the whole world was waiting like on their computers 10 minutes before it went live and not most people have to deal with that kind of pressure so I feel like everyone deserves that period to kind of get their shit together and I feel like Kylie Cosmetics has gotten it together and I feel like the products that come out are really nice. Like her cream shadows are nice, her liner is nice, like her gel liner, I really like it. Her eyeshadows are nice, her matte lipsticks have improved big time. Like I really, I really do like the brand and I love the packaging. So I think it's come a really long way, but yeah. Anyways, this video is all over the place. I know you guys, I know. Anyways, I hope that you guys maybe enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit tonight. I really missed you and I enjoyed sitting here and talking to you truly. So I love you guys so much and thank you for watching this hot ass mess video. <laughs> and I will see you guys soon with a makeup tutorial that I'm very excited to film actually because I've had this makeup tutorial in mind for a long, 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 long time. And I'm really excited to actually do it because it's a very me. And I want to do it because I want to do it. I haven't actually done it on myself yet. I'm going to do it on camera. 
and I'm really, really excited to see it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you soon. Bye.